This theorem states that if you have several subspaces that we call AI, so A1, A2, and so on, their intersection is also going to be a subspace. So to prove that, we need to prove that the intersection is a subspace, which specifically means that we have to satisfy the theorem that we just did above, or that we did before. So to prove that the intersection is a subspace, we need to prove that for every x and y, which belong to the set A. And for every constants alpha and beta, then um, alpha x plus beta y, so the linear combination of x and y, is going to belong to the intersection. So here I meant to write intersection as well, because we're trying to prove not that the sets are subspaces because they're already subspaces, but that the intersection is also a subspace. So to do that, we're going to use the fact that individually, um, we know that the sets are subspaces. And so we just have to prove that also, if we take the intersection, that will satisfy the same uh, definition. So first of all, we start with the fact that if we have a subspace, the one thing that all subspaces have in common is that they all include the origin or the zero vector, the null vector. So we can say that since the null vector definitely belongs to every subspace AI, we know that the intersection um, of the subspaces exists. It's not equal to the empty set. So we can say that it's not equal to the empty set here. So this is just saying informally that uh, there is an intersection between the, the subspaces. So what I'm writing here in words, you don't need to write it just to understand it. Then we're going to say that uh, since we have an intersection, if we take any vectors that are in those intersection, so we're going to call them x and y, if they're in the intersection, then that means that they're also in the individual uh, subspaces. So x and y are also in every AI. So here we're just saying that if they're in the intersection, they're also in all the individual um, subspaces. Then we can say that using the definition of a subspace, we know that we have to satisfy uh, the fact that linear combinations of the vectors have to be in the set. So we can say that for every alpha and beta, which are real numbers, alpha x plus beta y, is in the set or the subspace. And since that's going to be the case for every subspace, then that's equivalent to saying that alpha x plus beta y will also be in the intersection. And so by proving that every linear combination is in the intersection, that proves that the intersection is also a subspace.